Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to dive into the Chia portal and create a simple new project using S7 1200 PLC. Whether you are just starting out or need a quick refresher, this step-by-step -step guide will help you set up your project with ease. Let's get started. First things first, let's launch the Chia portal. Once it's open, you will see the start screen with various options. To begin, click on the create new project. This will open a new window where we can set up the basic details for our project. Here we will need to fill in some basic information. Let's give our project a name. I will call mine project as my first S7 1200 project. You can name your project whatever you would like. Next choose a location to save the project. Once you are done, click on the create button. Now our project is created, it's time to add our PLC. In the project tree on the left side, right click on the add new device. This will open a list of available devices. Scroll down and select S7 1200. I'll be using S7 1200 CPU, but you can choose the model that matches your setup. With our PLC added, we can now configure the hardware. In the device view, you will see a graphical representation of your CPU. From here, you can drag and drop modules into the rack as needed. For this tutorial, we will stick with the default setup. Next, we need to configure the network settings. Click on the properties in the project tree. Then go to the Profinet interface. Here you can set up the IP address and subnet mask according to your network configuration. This step ensures your PLC can communicate with the other devices. With our hardware configured, it's time to start programming. In the project tree, navigate to the program blocks and open the main OB1 block. For this example, we will create simple ladder logic to control and output. You can add contacts, coils, and other instructions as needed. Now let's see the setup for the today's tutorial. As you can see that we have a start push button and stop push button. These buttons are connected at I0.0 and I0.1 inputs of the PLC respectively. We have a contactor which turns on the motor. This contactor is activated by the relay which is connected at Q0.0 output of the PLC. Now come back to the TIA portal. First in the network number one, we will insert the normal open contact and assign it the I0.0 input of the PLC. Next we will insert the coil at the end of the rung and assign it Q0.0 output of the PLC. Now if someone press the start push button, it will turn on the Q0.0 output of the PLC. Next we will insert the normal open contact of the Q0.0 in parallel with the start push button contact I0.0. Now if someone press the start push button, it will latch on permanently the Q0.0 output of the PLC. Next we have to turn off the output Q0.0. We will insert the normal close contact of the start push button I0.1 just after this start push button contact. <laughs> Now once the output Q0.0 is latched on, if someone press the start push button I0.1, this normal close contact opens and it will open this logic path and turn off the Q0.0 output. Once your program is ready, it's time to compile and download it into the PLC. Click on the compile button to check if there are any errors. If everything looks good, click download to the PLC and follow the prompts to transfer the program into the hardware. Finally, let's test our program in the TIA portal. Switch to the online mode to monitor the PLC in real time. Here you can see your ladder logic in action. Let's press the start push button once as soon as the contact closes, the output Q0.0 energizes and motor starts to run. Now, even we have released the push button, the output Q0.0 stays on and motor keeps on running. Let's press the start push button once. It will open this contact. 
and Q0.0 output goes low and motor starts. And that's it. You have successfully created and downloaded a simple project using S7-1200 PLC in the TIA portal. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for the more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.